everyone so I'm really excited for this video I'm going to do a Disney movie challenge so I looked on like Pinterest and a whole bunch of different other places to find a really good like do I have that movie kind of a challenge I've seen this challenge for books but those won't work for movies because it's like oh something with the prologue something with an epilogue something with 400 pages and obviously movies don't have pages so I looked up Disney movie challenges and all of the ones I could find were like do you have a little mermaid do you have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs do you have Big Hero 6 I'm like bitch I have all of them well I tried to find a different challenge and I finally found one that I think is gonna work I personally haven't looked at all of the questions yet because I because I want to I kind of want to be stumped when it comes to some of them and be like which one is blah, 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 blah. so I looked at the first few just to get a general idea of it I will link down below the blog that I found this from if you are interested in doing a similar challenge it doesn't necessarily have to be Disney related just movies in general it'll probably be easier with just movies in general but I'm just sticking with my Disney movies I'm not taking credit I didn't invent this challenge I sent the list to Sam and he looked through and he said he could find a movie for every single question except two of them. What were the two that you couldn't find? A Netflix original film, which obviously you own obviously. them all, <laughs> and new release, which we don't have because Onward is in the mail. Okay, okay, so I do technically have a movie that was released this year because I've ordered Onward, it just hasn't arrived yet. But he also said that there's quite a few where if I pick something like early on, it's gonna really screw me up later on in this challenge so I'm really excited so I have a couple rules for myself I can't choose a movie more than once so when I pick a movie so say for example I pick melody time I have to put melody time here on this stool that I don't know if you can see or not you cannot okay well I'm gonna put it here so that it is off the shelf and I can't reuse it but we also have to keep track if I put it down because I have an entire collection of all 23 Marvel movies and I'm allowed to say pick Iron Man from this and then later on choose like say Spider-Man from this so just to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready! Here we go. Movie filmed in your home city. Oh! Oh! Cool Runnings! That was filmed in Calgary! Where are you? From right here. here. There you go. Cool Runnings. This was filmed in Calgary and it takes place during the 1988 Olympics. So Cool Runnings filmed in Calgary. Correct. Yay! Up to a great start. Okay. An inspirational movie. That's hard because like what are we inspiring to be? I was inspired well, by High School Musical that I'd have a great time in high school. What was something that, <laughs> that it, when you watch a movie was like, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go with The Finest Hours. Why? Because I... That, that movie is sad. <laughs> but it's not as happy! Only one person died. <laughs> but it's happy and it's like inspirational. I don't know that they... That they were able to save all these people. Yeah, and like, it's kind of like at the beginning of the movie, like Chris Pine's character is Mr. Oh, I always follow the rules. And then he sort of has to learn that sometimes the rules have to be bent in order to save people from a sinking half of a ship. Okay. A movie in a different language. Uh-oh. Doesn't it have to be a real language? It's a real language. In a different language. Yeah, real language. But it doesn't have to be a real different language. Yes. Dang it. Remember that you have movies that, are, that have been dubbed. <gasps> so I can use one of those? Yeah, because oh, it's not okay. in its original language. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll go with this one. What is it called? Nausicaa. Of the Valley of the Wind. This was originally in Japanese and then Disney did the dubbing. So that's why I include Studio Ghibli with all my movies because Disney did the dubbing. Yep. So this one. It's in a different language. A comedy. Oh, okay. Um, which one do I pick? Oh, I'm gonna pick this one. Have a laugh all you want. Have a laugh. It's a obvious. Comedy. It's a comedy. You're gonna have a laugh. Um, this one's a stretch, but okay. I, I know you have one for it. A horror movie. Watch her in the woods. Watch her in the woods. This movie terrified me as a child. A movie that made you cry. Oh my god, everything. <laughs> okay, I'm really like nervous to pick certain ones because I don't know if they're gonna come into play again. Okay, we're gonna go with The Good Dinosaur because this one made me sob. A remake. Flubber. 
I think this is one of like the most iconic remakes. And no one knows about the absent-minded professor. People are just like, oh yeah, there's Flubber and that's it. No, 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 no. This is a remake of the absent-minded professor. So Flubber. A movie recommended by a friend. Heavyweights. This is my most recent recommendation. My friend Tori recommended this to me. I haven't watched it yet, but Heavyweights. This is a really tough one, okay? Oh boy. An animated movie. Oh no, I don't have any of those. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to pick ones that I hopefully won't have any other significance, so I'm gonna go with Melody Time. A movie in black and white. <gasps> the Absent Minded Perfect! This one also has Son of Flubber, so we're not including Son of Flubber. If I use Son of Flubber for something else, it counts. We're going with The Absent-Minded Professor. A movie with one word title. Any Pixar movie? I'm gonna pick Up. A superhero movie. Okay, just so I can keep myself straight, we're gonna go with Iron Man. So Iron Man. A movie everyone but you have seen. Everyone but me has seen? Yes. Oh, well that's hard because there's so few on here that I haven't seen because I had my marathon. Maybe this? Planes? Yeah, you haven't, I haven't seen, seen this yet. Well, you haven't seen Planes. Planes? Yeah. I feel like it was like a big deal because it was like supposed to be like following after cars. So I feel like people were like, ah! But I haven't seen it yet. So Planes. A really bad or guilty pleasure movie. I'm going with really bad and I'm using Sam for really bad. Like he thinks this movie is really bad. I don't think it's really What's bad. a guilty pleasure? What's a, a... We're going with Chicken Little because Sam hates this movie. I don't think it's too bad, but we're going to go with Chicken Little. A movie made in the 60s. Oh my God. Oh my, I have, I don't know years. I don't know years. I do. If I say something, will you help me? Yes. Because I don't know years. Mary yeah. Poppins? That was 64. Yes! First one! Mary Poppins. We're gonna go with Mary Poppins. A documentary. Oh! We're gonna go with Disney Nature African Cats, because it was the first one on the pile. A movie with a pink poster art. Let's start digging. This, this side? No. I feel like I've seen some pink. Oh, life's, that's about a Barbie. Yeah, it counts. It has pink logo and... Okay, life-size. Pink. There's pink writing and Tyra Banks' dress is pink. We're gonna go with life-size. A three-hour movie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Avengers Endgame. Yep. When Sam and I went through and counted how many minutes are in all of my movies for I, so I could add up how many mo minutes I spent doing my Disney movie marathon, Avengers Endgame was the longest. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End was a close second, but and, Endgame was the longest. And the third was Happiest Millionaire. Oh so. yeah, Happiest Millionaire. That was a long one too. That one actually had an intermission. Yeah. A movie you've already seen. None of them. Everything. None of them. Oh, I'm going to pick something obscure and I'm going to pick Sky High because I've seen this. A movie adapted from a book. Okay. Oh! Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yes. A favorite movie from childhood. From childhood. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to pick Beauty and the Beast because I, I, I have like a sneaky suspicion in my butt that I can put Beauty and the Beast into something that nothing else will. So I don't want to pick Beauty and the Beast. Um, I feel like there's a movie I've t told you about that I was like, when I was a kid, I loved this movie. I'm gonna go with Kiki's Delivery Service because I remember asking my dad to rent this for us many, many times. So we're gonna go with Kiki's Delivery Service. A romance movie. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Enchanted. That was a romance movie. That was movie. a romantic movie. Yeah. You might not know this, so you're going to need help if, by asking. Okay. You may not know this off the top of your head. I know a few in there. A movie with a female director. Oh yeah, I don't know these. Pretty sure that's nope. the male? Yeah, Mark. <laughs> Mark. Gary. Nope, Robert. Lizzie McGuire, possibly. Nope, Jim. Gore. I can think of a Pixar short that was directed by a female. Pete. Nope. Give me one hint. Um, I would look more on the top shelf. Either the top shelf where you were, or the bottom, bottom shelf. Ava DuVernay. Ava DuVernay. A movie based on true events. 
smart house. I'm gonna go with Eight Below because this yeah. one, this one's sap is about puppies. A holiday movie. Oh, I have lots of those. Just well, we're gonna go with Star Wars, May the Fourth, my <laughs> favorite holiday. Okay, this is a tour, so I'm gonna go with Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. So I still have Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas in this bundle. So Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. A teen movie. Ooh, it's even in the title. Teen Beach Movie. A movie with your favorite actor. Ooh, I'm gonna go with The Last Jedi, Daisy Ridley. Okay. A movie shorter than 90 minutes. Oh, lots. 67 minutes make mine music. Okay. A movie mentioned in another movie. Shit, I already picked Infinity Wars, or I already picked Endgame. They mentioned Back to the Future. Right. Oh! The Muppets Most Wanted, they reference Tom Hanks making Toy Story 4. When they made this, Toy Story 4 hadn't come out yet, but Toy Story 4 has come out yet, so this mentions Toy Story 4. Another inspirational movie. Okay. The Muppets. Annie, because I'm inspired to be adopted by a millionaire. I'm going to go with Rogue One. Okay. Because that's inspirational. They want to... But get everyone the dies. <laughs> they want to get the plans to the... Not everyone. They want to get the plans to the Death Star. They're just a small group of the Resistance that no one really believes in, but they're going to do it anyway. I like Rogue One. <laughs> so this one, I wanted to pick three different franchises. Okay. A Trilogy Part 1. A Trilogy Part 1. Okay. Cars 1. A Trilogy Part 2. Okay. Um, can I say Captain America Winter Soldier? Yep, that counts. Okay, Captain America Winter Soldier. Trilogy Part 3. Return of the Jedi. Okay. A biopic. Remember the Titans? Yep, that's a biopic. Okay. It's a sports drama biopic. Like Denzel. A movie certified fresh on Run Tomatoes. There's I have, a lot. Oh, I have no idea. There's a lot. Okay, so you'll just have to tell me yes or no. Yeah. Because I don't know if Rotten just, Tomatoes. Just pick a good movie. Incredibles 2? Let's triple check. 94% <laughs> RT. What does that mean? Yes. Okay, yes. Incredibles 2. Your favorite movie? Oh, I, obviously. Your dude. favorite movie. Oh, damn it. Okay. Why is this Beauty and the Beast at the top? Who did this? Okay. You. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. This is my all-time favorite movie. See? This is why I didn't pick this right from the beginning. I... And a comedy. Again? Yep, another comedy. Monsters, Inc. Yep, that's a comedy. A short film. Ooh, I got lots. Pixar short films. Yep. <laughs> a movie you own. Damn it! I don't have any of those. These are all on layaway. <laughs> Okay, I'm picking this because this, I am so happy I own this movie, Lemonade Mouth. This movie, you have no idea how hard I looked for a copy of Lemonade Mouth that would actually work. So Lemonade Mouth, I own it! <laughs> a movie set in a different time period. Pete's Dragon. Yeah. A friend or significant other's favorite movie. Um, your favorite movie... Out of all these. Not only is this my boyfriend's favorite movie, but it's my best friend's favorite movie, The Great Mouse Detective. A movie that has won an Oscar. Um, 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 Toy Story 3? Yep. Yes! Toy Story It won Best Animated Four. in 2010. Toy Story 3 won Best Animated in what year? 2010. 2010. A dystopian movie. So a movie... Spirited Away? Uh, yeah. 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 Because okay. she goes to a dystopian land. Yeah. So, yeah. And the majority of the movie takes place there, so. Yeah. Okay. A thriller. Ooh. Haunted Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't count that as a thriller, personally. Okay, well, we'll see if we can find something else. Ooh, I think this one. I think this one. How's Moving Castle? That's a thriller. Yeah, okay. How's Moving Castle? We're gonna go with for a thriller. A movie that relates to your life. <laughs> ah! Frozen, because I live in Canada. See that cat? Celebrating Mickey. Why? Because I celebrate Mickey all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a movie released the year you were born. Oh! I know a few of these. Aladdin. Newsies actually came out in 92 as well. Mm -hmm. I know that. We're gonna go with 
We're going with Aladdin because I can pull the live action Aladdin, possibly need be. So Aladdin came out in 1992. Okay. A sci-fi. Ooh, solo. Yep. A fantasy film. Cinderella. Fantasy. A sports movie. Oh, I've got lots of those. I'm going to pick this because I haven't seen it yet, so I don't really know what else to go with. So, Glory Road. A musical. I'm going to go with the most musical movie I own, Into the Woods. Pick another one. A holiday movie. Another holiday movie? But okay. another holiday, preferably. What did I pick before? I think I picked Christmas. You did. So, we'll go with a Halloween movie. Uh, Twitches. Twitches. Halloween movie. And that's it. That's it? That's it. That's it? That's it. That was so easy. Yeah. The hardest one was director. Yeah, that's it. Oh. That, that's, that's all I got. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Unless you want me to make up a couple more. Sure, make up a couple more. Okay. Let me, let me be creative here. A movie with a number in the title. 101 Dalmatians. A movie with a non-human main character. 101 Dalmatians 2, Patches London Adventure. <laughs> A movie set in the future. Not Star Wars, that was a long time ago. The galaxy far, far away. This movie is a bit of present, but a bit of the future as well. Tomorrowland. Yep. A movie set in a different country. Tarzan. Africa. Africa. A movie set in high school. <laughs> high school musical. Yep. Duh. A movie with a color in the title. Ooh, okay. I don't know if you have one of those. The Black Cauldron. Ah, there you are! A movie from before you were born. <laughs> Lots. I'm gonna go with the oldest. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Mm -hmm. Here's a confessional one. A movie you started, but never finished. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Gargoyles, Season 2, Volume 2. It just got real confusing. <laughs> I really tried. I could also right. say Rise of Skywalker because I have it on right now and it's not finished. <laughs> no. I don't know if we have this one, but let's try it. A movie about a historical figure. Yes. 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 Saving Mr. Banks. Oh, there you go. Walt Disney. A movie with a nice soundtrack. <laughs> Everything. Oh, damn. I already picked Tarzan. Shit. Tangled. Should have won the Oscar! A movie someone told you to watch. I'm gonna go with this one, and this is a little bit different. A girl that I was friends with for a little while when I lived in Florida said, you should watch the live action Alice in Wonderland because Johnny Depp is amazing as the Mad Hatter. So, she told me to watch this. A movie set in a place you went to. Snow Dogs, I've been to Alaska. Yeah. Okay. A movie that made you Laugh so hard, you cried. Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension. My brother can vouch for that. <laughs> a movie with a wedding. George of the Jungle. They have like a little jungle wedding at the end, George and Ursula. They do. A movie about magicians. Okay. A movie about magicians. Do you now think of it? The Sorcerer's Apprentice! Finally! <laughs> so glad you thought of that. I saw Fantasia and I was gonna pull that, but I was like, no! Oh! <laughs> you we'll just do a few more and then we'll be done. Okay. A movie you wanted to watch for ages, but never got around to it. And then obviously you finally did. But a movie that you put on the back burner for so oh, long. Oh, oh. The biggest one, The Force Awakens. I really wanted to see this when it came out to theaters, but I wasn't like super, super pumped to go see it. So, but I, so I wanted to see it, wanted to see it, wanted to see it. It was probably in theaters for like two weeks before I finally saw it. My pile is starting to wiggle, so we got it. I know, we only have a few more left. A few more. A movie with an animal in the title. Okay, okay. I know I have some of those. Dinosaur. That, that's no, that's not his name. With an his animal. His name isn't Dinosaur. With an animal in the title. Oh, I thought the name of an animal would make more sense. Like I was thinking like kind of like, like frog. That's an animal. Oh, okay, sure, okay. Okay, so Princess and the Frog. And then movie with the name of an, an of an animal, like an animal that has an actual name. 
It's the animal's name. Yes, correct. And there's tons of Oh, those. Mighty Joe Young. Yeah. Because the gorilla's name is Joe. Yeah. And I think this might be the last one. Uh, a movie your mom loves. Ooh, Secretariat. My mom loves Secretariat. Secretariat. Okay. Ooh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye! Okay. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. So I will link down below the first challenge I did, and then I'll get Sam to send me the challenge that he just did those last few ones of, and I will link that down below as well if you want to do something similar. You don't necessarily have to limit yourself to just Disney movies. I just thought I would challenge myself, and that was a lot of fun. If you guys can find any other movie-related challenges that I could do with my Disney movies, let me know, because that was a lot of fun, and I would love to do something like that again. I hope Hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe let me know if you did I post new videos every single Friday plus bonus videos every once in a while and I would love to have you here so yeah thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you guys later bye everybody and now for the fun part putting them away <laughs>